Drama Divas, welcome back to Christine Does Drama. So today I'll be reviewing America's Next Top Model. So let's just get straight so into it. So last week Lennox won Best Picture and so her photo was featured in the house. And we also saw Denzel apologise to Will about last week, you know the whole homophobia gate. Um, Denzel saying that he doesn't want a guy in heels to win the competition. And Denzel kind of explained that he comes from kind of like a strict background. His father wasn't always around and his grandmother kind of raised him with these kind of really like strict values. And this is what I was saying last week. I was saying that it's not about people's beliefs and attacking people and what they believe in. It's about having respect for your fellow person and not trying to make someone feel bad about who they are. And Will kind of, you know, he just took it with a pinch of salt. He just kind of accepted what he said. I understood where Denzel was coming from and I'm glad that they apologised and there's kind of like a, we're moving forward now. You know, that was last week. So the Mariana and Denzel love triangle, what should we call them? Deriana, Merzel, I don't know and I don't care because I don't know what they were doing. You know, TV is not national TV anymore, it's international TV. I cannot believe they were showering together. It's not like I'm a prude or anything. I just think, don't you have a mother or people who are going to be watching this and feel embarrassed? Like, ah. Uh, yeah, so I was really like cringe and everyone seems to be, as always, getting more and more annoyed with the whole situation between them two and it only escalated in this episode. Challenge this week was for um, them to promote Kelly Catrone's brand, Electric Love Army, in conjunction with Nylon Magazine. And we all know that the winner of Top Model gets to feature in Nylon Magazine. And so they all got split into the groups of three. Now, it was hilarious um, seeing Matthew in charge of a group. And he thought that would be a great idea for Raylia, who was in his group, to pose topless. And she had to wear like something to cover it. But it was still very obvious. I had to blur, you know, some things out. I was like, really, why? Isn't it meant to be promoting um, the clothes? And so um, he also said to Relia, I want to kind of make you into a bit of a slut, a high school slut. And Kelly Catrone's eyes went like, what? Why would she want to be a slut? And yeah, it, I don't know what Matthew was thinking there. Mariana, Denzel and Lennox were in a group together. I think the reason why Mariana chose Denzel is because of last week. She didn't want her man to be kissing on anyone else. You know what happened last week with Denzel and Shy, they ended up having a kissing team together. And I think uh, Mariana just wanted to get, keep hold of her man. She did say in this episode that she was falling in love with Denzel. So they were in a group together and Denzel oiled himself up for this shoot. Bearing in mind that they're promoting Kelly's brand, so they should be wearing some kind of clothes, even though she did say that it was about women empowerment, um, you should be promoting the clothes, right? So he oiled himself up and Kelly was like, hey, why are you oiling yourself up? You make sure you wear your clothes and I don't want the clothes to be oiled. Denzel didn't listen and they had a bit of an argument. Kelly was like, you listen to me. What did I tell you? Take that oil off and put on some damn clothes and... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would not want to mess with Kelly, right? She's so scary. Shy, Adam and Keith were also in a group together. And I think it was the, one of the partners of Nylon. He said that he really liked Shy's look. And I was quite uncomfortable with Kelly saying, well, she doesn't take good photos. I kind of... I kind of think that Tyra and Kelly and Miss J, they're kind of ambassadors for these guys, like these people, do you know what I mean? They should be helping them. I don't think she should have just come out and say, well, I don't think she had great photos. I think they should be trying to promote them as best that they can, trying to hype them up. And I just didn't like how she kind of just brushed it to one side, but she did admit to her show that she did say that. I, that would annoy me, I'm sorry, right? You're meant to be helping them. That's why they're in the competition to learn, to get better. You shouldn't be telling someone who wants to, who says that they like them, that they, they're not good enough or that they don't take good photos. Anyway, that group ended up winning, which was great. I really liked their photo shoot together. And I'm glad that they won. I think they did a good job. So Denzel just can't like keep quiet. He can't keep his opinions to himself because I think it would save him a lot of heartache. So when they got home, Denzel was talking about Mariana. He was saying that, you know, she's a bit too young for him. And, you know, that he just likes to have cuddles with her. And it's not serious and blah, 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 whatever, right? So then Lennox, you know, being the kind person that she is, I mean, you guys might think she was troublemaking, but I think, I don't think there's like a, she doesn't have a sly bone in her body. She just generally wanted to help Mariana. So she goes to Mariana, she says, look, this is what Denzel has been saying about you. Was it just me? Or did you notice the hickey on Mariana's neck? I was like, geez, what are you two, t t what, are you, what are you two doing? So Mariana, okay, I, obviously we know what they're doing. <laughs> I just figured out what I just said there. 
Anyway, Mariana calls Denzel and they um, end up going outside and Mariana says, sit down and she throws the chair on the floor. So childish. And they ended up talking and uh, Mariana says, what have you been saying about me? And Denzel says, well, I've been talking about the age thing and that I like cuddles and stuff and we're not that serious. And Mariana was like, you know what? I don't, I'm not a fool. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not someone to be messed with. This is over. I break up with you. Which was just so like, please, where, where do you think you guys are? Do you think you're on The Bachelor? <sighs> anyway. So I thought Mariana couldn't use a phone. I thought that maybe she couldn't phone her boyfriend. She didn't know how to use a phone. She didn't know, she didn't have his number. I don't know, like they had like a pen pal relationship. So suddenly she rings her boyfriend because now her and Denzel are broken up. She wants to get back with her guy, you know, having a cake and eating it too. And she says, look, this is what happened between me and my, me and, um, me and this guy and it's over now, don't worry. And the guy kind of was a bit like, mm. cause she made it sound like it wasn't that big a deal. And, you know, she's she's now at this point back with her boyfriend, which, you know, I give her a pass because she's young, but this is really, really sad and really pathetic. The guys finally found out who they were, um, their backgrounds and where they come from. Um, we had like Raylia and um, Raylia and Mariana, they're both Asian. And it turns out that Will and Denzel have a lot of... Um, the same roots. I think they both have like Jewish in them and Scandinavian in them. And it was kind of really convenient that they had all that trouble last week and that they have so so much like connection together. So a lot of that it was really played on like, oh you two don't get along but you know you're connected with you know the same bloods and ugh, whatever, right? I mean I, I was a bit confused why they did this in the first place but I suppose it helps them in terms of who they are and modeling and where they fit and you know getting to know who they are as people. We had the welcome return of Corey. Um, he came back to do a photo shoot with the guys where they, he was like a robot guy and um, he was, I think the whole concept was to have like a fu future photo shoot because you know, they're trying to say that, you know, everyone's gonna be connected at some point. Everyone's gonna have a little bit of, you know, every kind of race in them. So it was kind of like a future, a future photo shoot, right? And I don't know if you guys read any of the blogs, but the guy who was taking the photos, Eric Asler, him and Tyra are together, there's a pictures of them two kissing and cuddling and I'm happy for Tyra. I really want her to, you know, have her happiness in her personal life as well as her, well as her professional life because I think she's an amazing woman. So then the photo shoot commenced. In the photo shoot, Denzel was the one who was um, not doing as well as everyone else. Um, Yusai was getting really angry with him, like really frustrated. Um, and he was getting frustrated in himself. I thought um, that um, Lennox um, did really well. And well, I really liked the booty tooch. When she did that tooch, I was like, whoa! She was really slashing it this this episode. And of course, I really liked um, Shy. I thought she she did she handled the direction really really well. Adam was I thought he was struggling a little bit as well. Um, so they're on the rooftop, and um, you know, Corey was in that um, robotic costume. And I thought Matthew did really well. He was really trying to, you know, he I, I really thought he was trying to push himself more and more. He realised that he was in the middle of the competition and he was trying to raise up. And so he was standing on top of the house and he was, you know, getting more into it, you know, more into because um he was saying that he's really he's very comfortable in sexuality. And he had no problem with getting more and more intimate with Corey to try and get the best sh shot. And I thought he did a good job. So Denzel tried to get um his um in-house woman back. Mariana by sending her like little cute messages on the line app that they secretly really want us to download and um, So she ended up talking to him and she said that she has been talking to her boyfriend, but you know You know, she's she's like kind of like it's not, it's not a big deal. Let's just forget it I just she's so easily swayed like <laughs> Denzel just had to say one nice thing to her and she forgets that she has a boyfriend and so she kind of um, forgave Denzel for whatever he did or did not say and um, she did say that she told her boyfriend a little bit about Denzel, but she didn't say that they've been intimate. And I wondered what that meant. Have they actually been having sex in the house? I really want to know. Because <laughs> I just I can't get my head around this happening in Top Model. Because I've been watching it since the beginning. I know it was all girls for a long time and there has been like various encounters with guys and, you know, in the cycles. But just to have sex in the house, like in a competition, I don't know why Tyra's not getting involved in that. I just think that's just really... I think it's... I, I always think Top Model is like geared towards like like kids and tweens and I know I'm you know I'm an old woman now but I still love and watch it so that's why I'm a bit confused why this has been allowed to happen in the house 
So anyway, she kind of, they kind of went off together to snuggle in the bed and Shai said that she was hearing, she heard like sexual noises and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? So then we had the judging. I thought that Tyra looked absolutely beautiful in this episode. I loved her outfit. And then Miss J had her 60s hairstyle. She was kind of rocking that Supremes look. And then we got down to business with the judging. And I thought that Ray Leah um, had a massive improvement from last week. I wasn't a hundred percent like in love with her photo, but you know, definitely better than last week I thought Matthew was good I didn't understand that you know there's mixed reviews for, for his photo shoot I didn't like Adams at all I didn't like um, the way that he was posing on no it didn't really work Lennox just blew me away I thought that was the most beautiful shoot I mean it's quite hard you know to get to have a photo where you're looking up and you're not seeing it you know your nostrils or anything I thought that was just beautiful she looked better than Corey in that picture and Corey was smashed it throughout the whole whole of the photo shoots I love Will's photo I thought he was really good um yeah it was a really good photo shoot I thought Mariana did a real I didn't think anyone did really badly in this photo shoot apart from Denzel I didn't I didn't like his photo at all but he wasn't in the bottom two, it was Mariana and it was Matthew and then Matthew went home and I was kind of a bit gutted. I mean, I think I'm going to be sad, you know, who, I, feel, I feel a bit attached to all of them now so I think I'll be a bit sad whoever goes from now on but I, I, Matthew, there's just so much potential there. You know how he did so well at the beginning and then now to be middle to leave so I'm hoping that, you know, he has a chance as anyone to come back and I can't wait to see who it is who comes back and I hope that Matthew is continuing to smash his photo shoots because he deserves a place as much as anyone. That's the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you love Top Model. I love Top Model and love to talk about Top Model so if you want to talk about Top Model with me make sure you leave your comments. I would love to hear what you think about this episode and I will see you again next week Drama Divas. Bye! -bye.